Hello, welcome back to another video and today I have something really tiny, neat and quick for you. So this is a 2x2 hipster window store. So uh, just for a quick side note, this is actually half the size of your standard 2x2 window store as you can see this being uh, 3x4x6. So uh, yeah, even if you manage to like somehow make it with a wall slider to cut off one from the top right here it would still be three by six at least by three so uh yeah this is definitely the smallest two by two window store you can make and it just so happens to be a uh, hipster yay so um yeah, this is a 2x2 hipster uh, window store, as you can see. It's uh, quite fast. It uses a uh, torch shot with an extender, which is also the reason why down here is like a weird circuit, or like call. It's more difficult than it uh, sounds because um, these pistons are budded, so having redstone dust around here will, especially that one, will update this piston which would break the system if it's timed uh, not like if it's imperfectly timed so yeah this took roughly in, in half an hour to make even though it should have only took like two minutes and because i write my exams around now and i don't really have much time to prepare videos i just thought i'd give you something neat like this as well as give you a tutorial because uh, yeah, so uh, 36 blocks by the way, you will need uh, 3 torches, 2 dust, 2 repeaters, 2 comparators, 6 pistons, 2 drop hopper random items, and a constant signal as an input. Uh, besides that, obviously your Windows logo, uh, 5 floor blocks, one of these needs to be uh, solid, and 10 uh, power uh, circuitry blocks, and a slab. And if you want to color code like I did, you will need one input uh, color block, you will need four uh, opening colored blocks, you will need two input bl uh, color blocks, one closing, one for um, extra moves, and one for the single pistons. So, uh, obviously a 3 by 3 hole, which is my bad, which is four under the floor as you can see right here. So we shall start with our input. So if this is your Windows logo right uh, here, then your input will be here with a with constant signal, obviously. And we will start with the uh, opening circuit, actually, because it is the one to be placed the most easily when there's not not like all the shit above it. Uh, so a one tick repeater into a block into a four tick repeater into a uh, into a comparator on subtract mode by the way so um, or actually it doesn't really matter considering uh, your item will only have single strings of uh, three at max so um, why is this drop out here because otherwise this piston obviously would have been powered by this repeater so uh, yeah uh, next up, uh, input circuit, really simple, just a uh, dust and a torch. And then your solid floor block above it, like this, or like this if you want. Um, yeah, so now we can place in our double piston extender right here. Now single piston extender is right here. Now the so single piston extenders will be powered from this torch and through this uh, box. And, uh, well, you I guess you n know what to place on here. And for the final bits, we will um, place ourselves a block here with a dust and a torch. Uh, what this will do is um, make sure that on the opening this doesn't, um, uh, on the closing this uh, signal gets cut off, so we get a um, we get an we get the torch on, and in order for the 
closing, or rather opening, whatever, to work. There is a glass pane in a container right there. Um, in order for the opening to work, we need a slab right here. And a comparator facing into this block. And that should be it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. So, uh, yeah. What's going on here is um, when I activate this lever, this uh, call, this uh, drop hopper pulses, turning the torch off, and then releases, obviously, turning it back on. So, if you know these uh, dual double piston extenders, you know that on the first pulse, we retract, and then the signal will come through here and turn it off permanently. And what this green block with the torch does is it simply removes the signal, so the thing extends. And uh, of course, uh, in the meantime, the signal pressing extenders are invertedly hooked up to the input, so yeah. Hope you like it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter to get updated on what I'm doing currently, uh, Twitter is at Uh Thank you for watching and uh, bye.